How things actually work. This is how a male seahorse gives birth. In seahorses, it's the male that gets pregnant and gives birth. Their babies are located in a pouch on their tails. They then give birth to over 1,000 babies at once. Seahorses are the only species where the male gets pregnant and gives birth. This is how radiation really works. This man is blocking radiation getting to this wall. When the man steps away, you can see a shadow is left behind. This mark is where the radiation didn't hit the wall. This is how to make obsidian in real life. This lava from a volcano is falling into the ocean. When the lava cools very quickly, it makes obsidian. This is how a zipper really works. There are two inputs. The pieces of plastic on either side sit on top of one another. Ever wondered how toothpaste comes out in that swirly pattern? Well, as you can see, the colored toothpaste is loaded in in an X shape. So when you squeeze it out, it comes out in a swirl. This is how a lock and a key really works. Pieces of metal block the key from going in, but if the key has the correct ridges, then it will slide in. Once all of these metal parts have been risen up by the key, the lock will turn. How things are really made. This is how metal is painted. It's called powder coating. Paint is made into a powder and then metals are dipped inside. The metal is dipped in the powder, shaken around a bit, and then it's done. This is how fruit is sliced. It may look like this blade is going slowly, but really it's going so fast the camera can't keep up. This is how suitcases are made. They're pushed into a machine from below, and then vacuum sealed in a protective wrap. This is how ribbed elbow pasta is made. This machine has rotating blades to cut the pasta in perfect pieces. How things are actually made. Inside every rubber glove a normal protective glove. This is then dipped in hot melted rubber. It's insanely satisfying to watch. This is how transmission tower wires are made. You might think they're coiled by a machine, but they're actually done by hand. This looks insanely unsafe, even if they are wearing helmets. I don't think those would help if they fell off these towers. This is how golden eggs are made. This factory makes thousands of golden eggs every single day. They do this by spraying golden paint on normal eggs. This is how swirly gelato is made. This machine has six different nozzles. These are rotated as the nozzles are used, creating a very satisfying swirling effect. Things humans were never meant to see. In 1986, the Chernobyl power plant exploded. The elephant's foot is a large melted nuclear reactor. Anyone who went near to this would soon pass away. But in 1996, it was caught on camera for the first time. Decades on, it's still radioactive to this day. One day a man was walking near a lake. That's when he looked down and saw a fish with a human foot. Face. The fish appears to have two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. The fish species has not yet been identified. One day in Russia, someone caught some mysterious creatures walking around in the snow. Some compared these to dinosaurs, but exactly what they are is unexplained. One day a plane was flying over Japan. That's when a passenger caught something odd out of the window. There appeared to be a dark object flying next to the plane. Some thought this may be a UFO, while others said it could be a secret piece of military technology. Technology. The Japanese Air Force said it was nothing to do with them. Things humans were never meant to see. Different TV channels show different adverts during the same football game. If the adverts are on a screen, how is this even possible? Well, they use something named Perimeter Replacement Technology. This masks out all of the players and puts a different advert in place. Thanks to a virtual camera head, this is done in real time. This is not wood. Instead, it's a sculpture made from paper. It is made by an artist named Lee Hongbo. Lee makes these sculptures using thousands of pieces of paper. Take a look at how fast this octopus escapes from a jar. The octopus worked out how to unscrew the jar and get out in just one minute. Many don't realize, but if octopuses were humans, their IQ would be 140. This gem looks like it's censored. This is a Congo tourmaline, which is a rare gem. Things humans were never meant to see, part two. Take a look at how easily these soldiers flip over a tank. No, this is not a prank. It's a real piece of footage from World War II. During World War II, the Allied forces used inflatable tanks. This was to scare off the German army. And amazingly, it actually worked on many occasions. This is a lawn bubble. They're very satisfying to jump on and pop. 
They're not made of air, but instead water which is trapped under the grass. If these aren't popped, they can grow to obscene sizes. This is a Zorse. It's what happens when a female zebra and a male horse mate. This Zorse is named Ecclesia, and it's one of the most amazing animals I've ever seen. Common lies you still believe. You may think you can pull a pin from a grenade using your teeth. If you did this in real life, you would lose your teeth, and the pin would still be in the grenade. People think trees produce most of the oxygen in the world, but oceans produce more oxygen than all of the trees combined. Many think gravity is the same all over the world, but in some parts of Canada there is less gravity than the rest of the world. Many believe that dogs see in black and white, but that's not true, your dog can actually see colours. Many people believe we swallow 8 spiders in our sleep every year, but thankfully this is just a myth. In reality, it's probably zero. Here is what cities looked like before humans. This is Manhattan, New York today. But here's that same city in 1609. It was a jungle with a big river. The only people living there were the Lenape Indians. This is Dubai today. But here's how it looked back in 1991. Not too long ago, only a few thousand people lived in Dubai. Today it's one of the world's most visited cities, with a population of nearly 3.5 million people. This is what London looks like today. But here's how it looked before any humans went there or built anything. This is Tokyo, Japan in 1945. And here's the same view of the city today. The current population is 14 million. Coincidences that are one in a million. This dog perfectly lines up with the sea. This bird landed on a page of a bird book about itself. The picture on this RV matched up exactly with the landscape. A dog gave birth to three puppies, and they all had their corresponding number on their back. One, two, and three. This egg has four yolks. The odds of this happening are 11 billion to one. This dragonfly landed on a girl's foot, but that's not its shadow, instead it's a tattoo. People have just realised what the eye in iPhone really means, and it's not what they thought. Ever wondered why Apple puts an eye before its product names? Well it dates back all the way to 1998. Most people think the eye stands for internet, but in 1998 Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple, revealed the truth. The eye in front of iMac and iPhone actually stands for five words. These five words are internet, individual, instruct, inform, and inspire. So there you have it, that's the actual meaning of the I in iPhone. This is why 1% battery lasts so long on your phone. Phone batteries are designed to not get too low. They have a protective shield built in when they drop below 5%. If your battery gets to 1% then many background features turn off. Apps won't refresh in the background. Also, modern batteries can't actually get to 0%. They always have a tiny bit of energy left in them. That's how you can still see the charging screen when your phone has no battery. Your phone basically plays it really safe when it gets to 1%. Also, sometimes your phone will show 1% when really it has much more battery than you'd think. It does this because, psychologically, we freak out when our phone gets to 1%. This makes you rush to plug in your phone because you think it might turn off at any second, but really you have much more time than you think.